What if I told you that this single page app in the App Store is quietly generating $60,000 every month and I just built the entire thing without writing a single line of code? Now look, everyone thinks you need years of programming experience or a massive development team to build profitable apps. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I reverse engineered a $60,000 per month app using just one AI tool and you too can copy this exact process. And here's what nobody's telling you about app development in 2025. The biggest apps are not complex at all. They're simple, focused, and they solve one specific problem really well. And while everyone else is trying to build the next Facebook, smart builders are creating single page solutions that print money. And I'm gonna walk you through my entire screen as I rebuild this app from scratch. So you'll see every click, every prompt, and every decision that I make. Plus, I'll show you the exact AI tool that did all the heavy lifting for me. And it's probably not the one that you actually think because I've been studying profitable apps for years and what you're about to see just took me a few hours to build, but it's based on a proven model that's already generating serious revenue. So in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to reveal the one AI tool that built my version completely, connected it to Stripe for payments to earn money right away and give you the exact step-by-step -step process so you can start building your own profitable apps today. So let's go ahead and dive in. And the AI tool that we are going to use is Replit. And with my code Mikey, M-I-K-E-Y, you know the song, you will get my 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent, which I will be using in this video. I added the link in the description down below. So please do go ahead and support the channel by clicking that. Important disclaimer, building apps and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. Because when I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most apps don't make money immediately and many apps, well, they don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or that you quit your job. This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme either. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right, so with our expectations set, let's continue to build the app. Let's start by laying the foundation for the app. I'm going to ask Replit to build a clean, modern, read it later platform that begins with a login and sign up screen, of course. Our user should be able to register or sign in using their email and password, and once they are authenticated, they'll land on their personal dashboard where they'll be able to see all of their saved articles. And from there, I'll have Replit add a feature where our users can paste in a URL. The app should extract just the main text of the article, removing all the ads and all the other clutter for a clean, distraction-free reading view. I also want to let users adjust the font, the spacing, and enable dark mode, of course, so they can customize their reading experience to their preferences. Their saved articles should also be able to work offline so that people can read without having to look for internet access all the time. And to stay organized, users need to be able to create folders, archive articles, and then sort them by date, length, or popularity, or even just shuffle them. A built-in search bar will make it easy to find what they've saved as well. And to support all of this, I'm planning to integrate Stripe and offer a premium plan at $19.99 per year. Now that unlocks advanced features like full text search, unlimited highlights and note taking. I'm also going to ask Replit to structure the app in a way that keeps the free version smooth while layering in all the premium options without any friction. And once our prompt is ready, all I have to do is click start building. And from there, Replit will process the request and present a plan that includes article extraction, a distraction free reading experience, and yeah, a Stripe powered premium subscription. And so far so good. It all looks good. So I'm just going to click approve plan and start. And next, I need to enter my Stripe API keys. So I'm going to go to the Stripe dashboard, open the developers tab here, copy the secret and public keys, and just simply paste them back into Replit. Then I click continue. Now Replit generates a clean landing page, as you can see, with light and dark mode support and highlights of the app's core features. Now I'm going to try to sign up for a new account, but I do hit a snag. The form throws me a registration fail.
failed error. So all I have to do is go back to Replit and ask it to please fix registration failed error. So let's try again. But again, this time we have a more specific error, error 500 registration failed column username does not exist. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Replit, send it another message with that exact issue. And after that, the registration is now working. And after logging in, I'm redirected to the dashboard as expected. Now that our users can successfully register and they land on their own personal dashboard, it's time to test the core feature, which is saving articles for later. So there's an add article button right here on the dashboard. So let's give that one a try and see if we can paste in a URL link. So I'll grab a link to a web article. I'm going to paste it in there and then I'm going to click save article, right? And the article shows up in my dashboard, which is great. But when I click to read it, it's not exactly clean. It's pulling in the entire web page, all the clutter and everything. So I'm going to head back to Replit and ask it to improve this part of the app. The app should automatically extract the main text content from the page removing ads or unnecessary clutter. This should provide a readable, clean reading version of the article. Now with that update done, I'm going to try saving another article. And this time I'm hit with a 404 page not found error after saving. And of course that needs fixing. And all I got to do is return to Replit and send this in. Please fix 404 page not found error. And then once that's patched up, I'm just going to test the flow again. So I'll copy a new URL. I'm going to paste it into the app and I'm going to click save. This time it loads perfectly and the article shows up in a clean, readable view. But oddly, I don't know why, but I'm still seeing the 404 error after the article loads. So I'm just going to go back to Replit and send it this message just to be sure. Please fix 404 page not found error. And finally, after that round of updates, everything works the way it should. So I'm going to try saving one more article. And again, clean display, no clutter, and best of all, no error messages. So now our app article saving function feels solid and ready for use. So right now, saving articles is working smoothly, but let's go ahead and check out what the actual reading experience looks like. And here we can see that if I click on a saved article, the layout is exactly what I had hoped for and instructed. It's clean and distraction free. The title and then the main body text are presented clearly. And even better, I can tweak how everything looks even further. There are options here to change the font type. I can adjust the text size and modify the line spacing to make reading for me more comfortable. And for all of us night readers, there's a dark mode toggle. Yes, that switches the entire view instantly. I'm obviously not a huge fan, but hey, comment down below and let me know what you think. To make the app even more useful, especially for people on the go, I decided to add offline support. So now I'm just going to go back to Replit and type this in. Make articles available offline once saved so that users can access them without internet. And after that update, offline functionality has been successfully implemented in our app. So good stuff. And if I try disconnecting my Wi-Fi, a little offline label appears to let me know that I'm not connected, but the article will still load just fine. So everything I've saved is still accessible here and still fully readable, exactly how a read it later app should behave. After getting the reading experience just right, the next thing I want to focus on and work on is content organization so that when users save a whole lot of articles, they're definitely going to need a way to keep things all neat and searchable. So I'm going to ask Replit to set up folders where users can group their saved reads. I also want to add sorting options like by date added, article length, popularity, or even a shuffle mode and a way to archive my finished articles. A search bar, of course, would be useful too. So users can quickly find something by title or content. So let's try creating a folder now, but it looks like the button isn't doing anything. So it's time to troubleshoot. And by troubleshoot, I mean going back into Replit and simply typing the plus button next to folders and the sidebar is not working. Yeah, that's it. Now this time, the folder creation flow works perfectly. Clicking the plus icon now lets me type in a folder name and hitting create folder sets it up instantly for me. And when I save an article, I can choose which folder it goes into. And to make the system even more flexible, I'm thinking about adding another feature. Say something like this. Add a delete option on a folder list. Replit updates the sidebar 
toolbar and just like that, I can remove folders too. Now everything feels tidy, customizable of course, and intuitive, just how a Read It Later app should be. Okay, so at this point, the app's core promise really starts to come together. Our users can save articles instantly, we can return to them later and actually enjoy reading them without, you know, the usual distractions from ads and pop-ups or broken layouts. Our offline reading mode also works seamlessly, which makes a huge difference for those of us who just want to catch up during commutes or low signal moments. And whether you're using a laptop or scrolling on your phone, the design stays clean and familiar. There's no weird formatting jumps. There's no clutter, just a consistent focused reading experience across all devices. Now, I also know that the free version is pretty solid, but for users who want more power and personalization, it does only make sense to offer a premium tier. Features like full text search, unlimited highlights, and even note taking are exactly the kind of upgrades that serious readers would appreciate like myself. So it's time to build that next layer in our app, a smooth, simple way to subscribe and unlock those extras. And to unlock those premium features, I'm simply going to go back to Replit and ask it to add Stripe integration for a $19.99 per year plan. Our premium users should get full text search across all saved articles, plus the ability to highlight and take unlimited notes. And these features will be logged behind the upgrade and the app should display a clean upgrade page that explains you know, the benefits and also walk users through a Stripe powered payment flow. So I'm going to now try clicking on upgrade to premium, then I'll hit the upgrade now button. But as you can see, I'm still running into an error. And again, I'm just going to go ask for Replit's help to figure out what's going wrong. All I do is just grab a screenshot of this message and then I'm going to send it over to Replit. So let's give the premium upgrade another shot. And this time I'll enter again my payment details and hit subscribe. But even after that, there is still no premium badge showing up in the navigation bar. And I want that. So I'm going to head back to Replit and ask it to update the user interface. I want it to show me a small premium badge in the top navigation bar after someone upgrades styled in a soft gold or some kind of highlight to make it clear but not be too distracting. I'm also going to ask for subtle lock icons or labels on features like full text search and note taking so it's super obvious which ones are exclusive to premium users. And yes, everything needs to stay responsive and look clean on both desktop and on mobile devices. And once that's requested, I'm just going to go ahead and try subscribing again. And this time I do get hit with another error. So I'll take a screenshot and I'll just send it back to Replit so it knows exactly what went wrong. And now I'm going to give it another shot, but still another error pops up during checkout this time. So again, I'm going to head back and ask Replit to fix whatever is blocking the payment flow. And you might have to do this once or twice or three times, but it gets solved. So just to rule out any account related bugs, I will create a brand new account and then just try subscribing from scratch. And this time everything goes through. The premium badge finally shows up right here in the top exactly where it should be. When it comes to free tiered users, of course, I still want the project to generate some passive income, but without disrupting the clean minimal interface. And that's where Google AdSense will come in. And to accomplish that, I'm just going to go back to Replit and ask it to connect my app to Google AdSense and insert ad placeholders that look just like real ads. So I'm going to describe it like this. Add Google AdSense to the website to show ads. The ad placeholder should look exactly like real Google AdSense ads with Google standard ad styling and format. Make as many banners as possible. And once I send that in, I'm going to go ahead and log into my Google AdSense account. And from there, I'm going to register my site name and hit save. And Google gives me the code snippet that I need, which of course I'm going to have to copy and paste directly back into Replit. After the snippet is in place, the next step is to request a site review. So all I have to do is hit submit. And now it's just a waiting game. It can take anywhere from two weeks to four weeks for Google to approve my site. But you know, while I'm waiting, I'm just going to head back to the app to check out the layout. As you can see, the ad placeholders are already showing up where they should. And for now, these are just mockups, of course, until my site gets approved. But they are already giving me a pretty good sense of how things will look once my site gets verified and the ads start running for real. And that wraps up the build for this video. So we went from article saving to offline reading with folder or organization and a full blown monetization with both Stripe and Google AdSense. And this project really goes to 
show how much we can accomplish using Replit and just a few well-structured prompts. Because what started as a simple read it later idea transformed into a clean, powerful app that's actually useful across different workflows. So if this video inspired you and you're now thinking about building something similar, or maybe you just want to experiment with your own SaaS ideas, this is your sign to dive in. You no longer need to write every single line of code from scratch. We just need to describe what we want clearly and then let AI help bring it to life. And if you found this video helpful, please do stick around for the next walkthrough because we're going to take things up a notch. I'll see you in the next one and thank you for watching.